Okay, I've had about 10 minutes since I did that slow five watt per minute ramp up to about 250 watts. Although that was a maximum or near maximum effort at the end, I still feel like I've got something in the tank for training today. So I'm gonna have a little bit of fun for another 20 minutes, um, but also try and confirm some of the power readings that we've got from that initial test. So based on a max of around 250 watts in that test, and based on my feelings as I went through the test, I reckon I can hold around 215, maybe 220 watts for 20 minutes. Um, probably not much, much more than that. Now, I'm running on Zwift, so one of the things I can do is find a little loop, and they very helpfully set up uh, league tables for uh, the fastest times around a little loop. So, it just so happens that the route I've chosen today is a, a route that goes a loop around a volcano, and it takes me normally somewhere in the region of about seven minutes to ride around there when I'm going fairly hard. So what I'm gonna do now is ride out to the volcano and do the timed loop three times. But rather than just do it flat out hard for 20 minutes, because I could just set a power output and ride at that, it's a little bit soul destroying and very serious for this point in the program. I'd rather give that kind of commitment when I'm really looking to squeeze out every last watt having made some progress. So today I'll just take it a bit light, a bit fun. I'll do three laps, but each lap I'll try and go a bit harder than the last lap. So in that way, I start the first lap going hard, but leaving plenty in the tank. The second lap, I go pretty much at that 20 minute pace. And then for the last lap, I'm just gonna see if I can squeeze a few more watts out so that on average, I won't be too far off my maximum effort for 20 minutes but it won't quite feel like I've had to take on that kind of commitment or effort. And again, it might be a little bit lower than I actually can do, but I'm not too worried about a few watts here or there at this stage. I'm really just trying to get a ballpark of whether, I think maybe 215 may be doable for, for today with that kind of regime, we'll see. So here we go, here's the beginning of the lap coming up and I'll stay with you for just a few seconds into the lap and then I'll disappear. So. I'm now up to, oh, a bit too hard there, easy, always easy to do, 200 or so watts I'm doing, and I'm into lap. And I'll check back in as I get back to the end of the lap. So here I am, close to the end of the first lap. I've been trying to hold an effort between seven and eight out of 10, probably more like seven most of the time, but equally, a lot of the time I've been below 200 watts. So it's not quite gonna be a 200 average. Next lap, I'm looking for between an effort, an effort between eight and nine. So hopefully over 200 all the way around. Time's just coming up now. So six minutes at the moment with a predicted 6.50 lap. So just a few hundred yards to go until I complete the lap. Currently holding 100, 190 watts. And this feels like a seven and a half, eight kind of effort. So the third lap, I am not optimistic about. Second lap, I think I'll be able to do a little bit better than the 652. It looks like it's going to be with just 150 meters to go. So just coming around, little squeeze, finish the lap, just over 200 watts. And uh, my heart rate, 160 beats a minute. And so there I go through over the line, 651. Now I know what I'm aiming for. A few seconds off that. Here we go. Nearing the end of the second lap and Swift has just flashed up my predicted lap time. I feel like I've been going harder, eight to nine for sure. And heart rate went from 160 at the end of the last lap. 163 now was 164. And my predicted time, 6.43 versus 6.51, or 52 rounded up for the previous lap. Only problem now is I've left myself no room, nowhere to go. So I'm gonna try and hold the same tempo and lift it in the last few hundred yards on the last lap, but it's only gonna be a second or two faster. And that's if I don't blow. And I'm not sure that's the, uh, not confident about that at all. So coming through the line now, 
and the clock stopped at 6.43, almost exactly. Here we go, all the same effort and bring it home hard in the last 200 yards. 100 meters. Yeah, easing down as I cross the line. 36. Oh boy, so that's a complete session done now. That's a ramp incremental test, five watts per minute for 25 minutes, starting at 125 watts, up to 250 watts. Then I rode easy for a few minutes before doing the equivalent of a 20 minute all out effort. So if you've read around this area, you'll know that's crudely the FTP estimation index that we use. So, uh, Andy Coggan has suggested that uh, functional threshold power, FTP, is the power you can sustain for one hour. And you can get a reasonable handle on that by taking 95% of your 20 minute power. Because of course, power increases or deep, depending which way you think about it, but it drops only 5% in order for you to ride three times longer uh, or thereabouts. Obviously that varies from rider to rider and we'll come back to that again in another vlog. But for today, I've done a 20 minute, pretty close to all out effort. And you'll see the nice thing about that mentally was one, I'd taken the pressure off myself by doing a hard effort before. So wasn't expecting miracles, even if this were later on in my training uh, regime. Um, but intentionally trying to go a little bit harder each lap. And, and mentally, those three laps cost me the effort of one max lap overall. So I got a 20 minute, very close to maximum power output figure by doing what felt like one lap that I was fully committed to. And the other two kind of came, not for free, but with minimal mental effort by comparison, because I always felt like I was trying to leave something in the tank for the last lap. Whereas in fact, I didn't. And that's also part of the skill of training and pacing in races and that sort of thing. Again, something we can talk about in a later one. The actual data for those laps, I'll look at subsequently. So I'll either go through the uh, Zwift software, or what I like to do is actually download the raw data files and play with them myself. And that will be something that uh, I'll talk about in future vlogs. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and please do check back again.